two letters, M and M. I would say my mother and my marriage. My mother, I was a caretaker for my mother ever since I was 17. My mom suffered with bipolar disorder. So as a 17 year old having to admit my mother into the hospital um, and being that primary caretaker for her and deal with those emotional uh, roller coasters at an early age, that was a defining part point in my life. Um, that didn't end. It didn't end at 17. That I'm 47 years old now, and that just started, that just stopped about two years ago when she passed away. But in that, I was struggling to find out my identity in the midst of being that caretaker. And by taking care of her, it, I felt like I was sacrificing so much. But what I was really doing was giving. And in my giving, I was sowing seed into myself. So I didn't lose anything from taking care of my mom because when she passed away, it was like my business flourished, everything flourished, and all the things that I put into her, she gave back to me. The second M was my marriage. Um, I, I knew that my business and my, my, my heart was to help men and to help develop people and help you know, people to reach their purpose and making sure that they can maximize their family, their life, their potential and their purpose. But my marriage didn't reflect that. My marriage became toxic. And it wasn't anybody's fault but our own. But in that time, we had separated for over 10 years. And in that 10 year separation, it was like I was in a wilderness of development because life didn't stop when the marriage stopped. I still had to find out about myself and learn about myself and deal with myself. And it's funny that in the midst of my marriage, in that, that wilderness situation, I was still positioned to help people in their marriage. And I'm watching their marriage flourish, even though my marriage was going on the decline. But in that, I was able to still learn from myself and grow myself and become the champ I am. Champ I am would not have been champ I am that you see today if it wasn't for that wilderness experience. Now, not to leave it on the downside, after 10 years, we reconciled and we have a beautiful marriage with grandchildren and, and the family that you would see on the picture. But it wasn't always like that. And it was the journey that led me to where I am today.